first Fordham Football Ram Roundup of the 2023 season. I'm Lou Orlando, joined by head coach Joe Conlon. Coach, how excited are you for this season again? Very. You know, we, we've had a really good camp, and, uh, you know, I think the, the team and, and the coaching staff, you know, just excited to get in the, uh, to play out, you know, games and, and uh, you know, see kind of where we stand, and uh, we got a really good test uh, this week against Albany. Since you've been here in 2018, you've always had Tim Demore and Ryan Greenhagen on your squad. How weird is it to look at this field and not see them? Yeah, it's, it's different. Um, you know, Ryan came over uh, the other day, spoke to the team, and now, you know, we've been talking with Timmy. But uh, so it's great to stay in contact with those guys. But, you know, we got great kids in there in their place, you know. So Ryan left and, and uh, you got James Conway and Mark Preto stepping up at linebacker. And, you know, CJ and Jack are doing a great job at quarterback. So, um, you know, it's, it's uh, those guys. You, you can never say you're going to replace players like that, but, you know, you just you try to recruit and develop, and uh, I think our staff did a good job of that. Now let's talk about that a little bit. Of course, a big storyline this season is Tim DeMore no longer here. What have you seen from the quarterbacks through camp, CJ, Jack, and the whole room? Yeah, I think they've done a really good job, you know, uh, for this from the progression from spring to now, uh, I think has been fantastic. Uh, you know, they're, they're pushing the ball downfield like we do in our offense. You know, they're, they're getting out of trouble with their legs. They're commanding the operation, which is really what they need to do. So, um, you know, obviously when the lights come on and uh, you're, you're playing against an unfamiliar opponent, it's obviously uh, a completely new experience. But, you know, those guys have done a great job so far. Last year with the records and making the FCS playoffs for the first time since 2015, but then you think back to when you first took over this program and where this program was, how proud are you of what it's been able to build up to? And then how do you pivot this season and build off of the success you had last year? Yeah, I mean, obviously that's the key, right? It's it's uh, it's harder, hard to get up there, but it's probably harder to stay there. And so, you know, you can't develop any type of complacency. Um, you know, I mean, I, uh, I'm proud of the efforts of, of everyone that's come through here, players, staff, uh, our support staff, you know, our athletic trainers, strength and conditioning, you know, our, our athletics department has really supported us the entire way. So very much, you know, all that success I love for, for them and uh, – for all the efforts they make just to kind of keep us in business. I mean, this is heaven for me. This is not really a job, so um, I do it no matter what. Uh, but yeah, and, and you know, staying there, I mean, you can't ever get complacent. You can't ever think you're good enough. You can't ever think that um, you've done it or else someone's going to come along and knock you off. Thanks a lot, Coach. Good luck this weekend. Anytime. Keeping it going with our first Ram roundup of the 2023 season, I'm joined now by linebacker James Conway. James, how pumped are you to start hitting people that aren't in Fordham training jerseys? Yeah, I'm very excited. I think the whole defense, the whole team is very excited. Alan Gant, who was linebacker coach last year, now also taking on a defense coordinator role as well. Can you just take me through that shift and what the defensive philosophy has been throughout camp so far? Yeah, you know, um, I think Coach Gant's done a great job of trying to just help the defense have fun. Um, Effort and discipline has been kind of our main motto. So uh, just have fun, run to the ball, definitely. For the last two years, you and Ryan Green have been the, probably the best linebacker duo in the FCS, certainly one of the best. How influential was he on your development as a linebacker, and how hard is it to replace someone that was so important to your defensive unit? Um, Ryan was an incredible mentor, uh, not just for me, but the whole linebacker room, the whole defense, the whole team. So losing someone like him is um, – very hard to replace, but I think some of the older guys are just trying to do the best they can uh, help with the younger guys. James, thanks for the time. Good luck, man. Thank you.